Hey YouTube, it's Ella Bella. I am still here in Pennsylvania. Uh, I didn't think I was going to do eBay while I was here, but I have surprised myself and done it anyways. So uh, I want to go through these 10 items that I've sold recently. Um, I like to do best offers on eBay. I sell most of my items through that. Um, my strategy is to price it higher than I want to get for it, obviously. Um, and I'll typically field an offer from a buyer and then I'll send a counter offer because if you send a counter offer, the buyer has to pay immediately to accept it. So that's just a little tip to get the, the item paid for because a lot of times when you accept their offer, they don't pay. They'll, uh, you know, they're like, oh, wow, they accidentally accepted it. And I think that a lot of times people are just sending out offers on a lot of stuff and they don't necessarily want to buy it. So, uh, I'm going to go through these and tell you um, what the offer was and how much it sold for, um, and we'll go from there. So these are wheel locks for a Honda. I wanted to sell this FBA, but I'm gated, of course, which is the story lately for everyone. Um, but these sold for $31.50, um, and I paid $3.50 for them. So really good flip right there. They sold in less than a week. So anything new in the package, I always say, you know, always look out for that because it's usually a pretty good flip. Uh, item number two is a Victoria's Secret bra. Um, this sold for $16. I told you guys that I went to that fill -a bag sale uh, a couple days ago, and it, the fill -a bag sale was $7 for a garbage bag full of clothes. So um, I got a lot of stuff for me that was winter clothes, so I'm not even going to have to buy any kind of winter clothes. Um, I usually always get rid of all my clothes every year and get new clothes because I just do so much thrifting that I can always get new stuff. But anyways, this sold for 16 bucks. shipped it out in a first class for like $277. Um, always look for Victoria's Secret bras because you can lot them together. Um, you can do like a lot of two for $35 or best offer and then maybe accept, thir accept $30 offer. And then you can ship them both in the same, you know, first class mailer. So that's something that I like to do if I can get a hold of those. Item number three. Kind of a funny post or a funny uh, listing. Uh, this sold in an hour, um, which someone told me that I priced it too low. Someone also told me that I was going to get a uh, iNAD case because I did not include the dog, which I thought was pretty funny. But I got the game for two dollars, and then it sold for sixteen ninety nine. So uh, I'm not mad at that at all. And I do have to get this stuff sold because I don't want to haul it all home with me. I'm actually flying out um, August first, so whatever doesn't go in my suitcase is not coming back with me. So. Um, moving on to item number four are these dance goes. Um, dance goes are definitely a shoe to look out for. I will say that the funky patterns and prints t tend to do better. Um, the colored ones tend to do better. I've gotten a hold of like a black pair and a brown pair, and they sat for a lot longer, and they actually only sold for around 25 or 30. These sold for 35 outright. The buyer just paid for them uh, on to buy it now. So, number six. No, number five. Um, getting ahead of myself there. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is a laptop that I had. Um, I'm really bad on laptops. I never buy a nice computer because I always tear it up pretty quick. I had this one for two years. I paid $330 for it new. Um, and I just listed it because I was like, well, what am I going to do with it? Um, and it was actually in pretty terrible condition condition and I put that on the listing there's my nail polish all over the computer and um, it's missing keys I threw that up for $29.99 um, and then it bid up to $76 I was kind of surprised but I mean I was pleasantly surprised um, that it sold for so much number six is pretty funny uh, I sold a rock um, so a lot of people don't know that fairy gardens and uh, terrariums are really, really, really trending right now. If you don't believe me, go on Etsy and type in Fairy Garden. There's people who sell entire setups just to make the Fairy Garden. So I was kind of bored, and I was dicking around the house and seeing what was uh, what was going on. And I went in the backyard, and I was like, hmm, that's a nice rock. And I, was, I uh, got it and put it on a table and stuck it on eBay. Um, I did make sure that it would go first class before I listed it because I knew that I was going to have to ship it. Um, and it actually, I made like $4 profit, but it was kind of just an experiment just to see like, what if, you know, um, and $4 profit on a rock. I mean, I don't, you know, it's not, not going to pay off the mortgage, but it is kind of impressive. So, uh, moving on to item number seven, these Chacos, I got them for $30 from a friend and I had intended to keep them, but I just did not like the way they, uh, felt and, they're not comfortable and they're really hard to get on and um, yeah I don't 
I don't understand the hype around Chacos. I'm just throwing that out there. However, they did sell for $53, so I still, you know, got my money back out of them and uh, made a little bit more money. Um, Chacos have a lifetime warranty, I believe, so if they tear up, you can send them into the manufacturer. So most people try to hold on to their Chacos, but if you ever see, even kids ones seem to do really well on eBay. If you ever see these, definitely pick them up. Number eight is a Lily Pulitzer dress. I got this for four dollars and it sold for forty five dollars. Um, it sold in about three days. Um, I was initially just going to throw it up for about thirty dollars, but then I started doing some research and I was like, damn, these are going for you know anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars. Um, Pulitzer has a huge following, um, and they're really easy to spot because they typically follow the same color schemes, a lot of pink and a lot of green, sometimes blue, and they usually have like a nautical theme of some sort. Um, but yeah, this was a little strawberry dress, but 4 into 45 was not bad at all. I was really happy with that flip. Uh, number 9, uh, I actually got this for free. Um, my grandpa gave it to me. He knows I sell on eBay, so he's always giving me random stuff that people give him. Um, this sold for $29.99. Um, and then I think I had to pay like $8 to ship it. But I mean, still, I probably made 15 or 20 profit because I didn't have to, uh, didn't have to pay anything for it. Um, a lot of times my family and friends will give me stuff to sell because they know what I do. So the tip on that would be, be transparent about what you do and, you know, make it clear that if people are looking to get rid of stuff, tell them to bring it to you. Um, I have people who, you know know that I will take the stuff that I don't want to Goodwill for them or to Lowe's and Fishes is our local thrift store. Um, I'm happy to do that for them if they're, you know, cool giving me the stuff that they don't want anymore. Uh, last item, let's see. Uh, yeah, this was kind of cool. Um, these cost 50 cents and they're Dr. Seuss pillowcases and they're vintage. Um, I sold these for $20 on a best offer. I paid 50 cents for them, so that's not a bad return at all. Um, I was kind of shocked when they sold the same day that I listed them. As to me, it seems kind of kind of obscure almost, but there may have been someone who had uh, you know, parts to the set and wanted to get um, the rest of it. I don't know, but they were in decent shape, and uh, quick flip on that one. So, uh, But just a... Uh, Quick little video for you guys of 10 things that I have sold on eBay recently. Um, I don't know how much of this was uh, useful to you, but hopefully you got something out of it. And uh, I would love to hear any feedback you have in the comments section. Uh, thanks for listening, guys.